Virgo, 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 Virgo. Happy Halloween. I actually had to go make another cup of tea. Mm. Mm. Since the beginning of the videos, y'all know I try and get these out in one shot as much as possible. I said it already. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Hope y'all have had a freaking fantastic October. And here we are, starting November. The Ivy Phoenix here, welcome back to my channel. Hello to those of you who are new. Um, thank you so much for the likes, for the shares, for the subscriptions, for the comments. I like to keep a positive environment. You got anything negative to say, don't even make it on the page, all right? But I love you, Virgos. I love you. I think I finally have gotten everything to be perfect for your video. <laughs> like I said, while I was hooking up my tea and letting it seep for a little bit, you know, cleanse the space again, cleanse myself. So let's get into it. Um, similar layout, this little strand of hair though. Okay. <laughs> um, where I'm going to, you know, pull out the major arcana, put those up to the top, of course, using a tarot deck for the foundation. I'm going to be pulling something a little bit extra, though, this month. Um, karma has been huge, um, especially for the season of Scorpio, transformation, death, you know, letting things go, all of that stuff. So I'm going to pull a little bit of an extra oracle card to see why you know the month is shaping up as it will for you mm, virgo last month it was more about you know having something to say right i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> General reading for you, vice versa, what's in your environment, et cetera, et cetera. No sign call out, no reversals. So what else do we got for you? I don't know why um, I'm having the overwhelming thought of August. Here's the message for you back in August. On the other side, that message isn't coming to mind. I don't know, something um, kicked off for you in August. Virgos, but it feels, it feels like the energy will be coming around. So far we have Nine of Cups and Judgment. Um, you guys got two nines. Huh. Um, the moon cycles for the remainder of 2018 are going to be major. You know, for 2018, we've had two blue moons, um, plenty of eclipses. And uh, we are actually going to have two cancer full moons. And as we know, the North Nodes, the North Nodes, the North Node is moving into Cancer from Leo. It's chill in the air. Ooh, I got two that flipped there. Stay. 
Jesus. What well, one more? What is this craziness? One more cookies. There we go. Okay. No major arcana at the bottom. So we have three of pentacles. I don't know if it's work related, perhaps. Um, before I say anything else, let's just get into cards. Funny, when that group just fell out, the Empress was one of the Oh my gosh, profound cards. Please don't start to annoy me. We're just saying something for you all. Again, I took a moment to perfect my outer. I took a moment to cleanse my inner. And there could be slight annoyances for you all this month. I feel as if, I think I'm talking to multiple Virgos this month. Mm. First off, there's a group of you who have been in this period of isolation. Maybe you've been in this period since August, um, you know, since your birthday season where you really wanted to hit reset in addition to, you know, hitting reset being forced upon you because it was your birthday season, right? Secondly, I feel as if there are some of you who are coming upon this really big job change, elevation, um, whatever it is for you, there's something that's definitely going to be different in that arena. Lastly, there is a group of you who those who are in your environment are not one supportive of you or two, it's three as a crowd. So there's a few different pieces going on with this three of pentacles and where divine is trying to have you placed by the end of November. Okay. Nine of Cups was the first card that came out. Notice again that huge full moon in the back. Now, um, you all would have had the full moon in Pisces back in your season, and then the new moon, of course, in Virgo. What is interesting about this Nine of Pentacles card is that archway. I immediately noticed that when I picked, when this came out of the deck. And the fact that the background is kind of like a sunset. I feel like it's more of a sunset because of the station of the flowers, where it's like, you know, they are about to go into their own hibernation you know they're about to go into sleep mode um and the the tent of the sky it ugh, ah. it just makes me feel again at the end of the eclipse season over the summer there was this huge epiphany that you all had and again this could go multiple ways I don't think I've had this happen in a reading in a while. Usually I'm talking to a direct group of you. If I had to pinpoint for the sake of the reading and the sake of time, I would say that this is more about the people who have too many hands in the pot, too many people around, because Nine of Pentacles is all about being good on your own, you know, um, realizing that you're good on your own. And here we have the Ace of Cups. And the Six of Swords. And notice how it just went super quiet. 
y'all have been in that. Judgment. Three. Again. So this isn't limited to love. This isn't limited to work. This isn't limited to anything. Please take this how it's going to apply the world. The Hierophant. And the Emperor. There is something that you have to gain control over, Virgo, and it's only going to happen by you doing it on your own. So here's what I feel for you. By the end of November, des design, <laughs> divine is going to want for you to feel safe for one, being in a team environment. You may not have had to depend on people before or you've had to drop those that you thought you could depend on. All right. You're going to have to get into this mode again of being a team player. Whether it is um, you're looking for a new relationship, whether it is, you know, this new job opportunity is coming up to you, whether you are now starting to phase out of friendships in order to attract in those who are really going to be a part of your tribe. There are several different things that could happen there. But you're going to have to start wrapping your head around it. And I feel like there are going to be signs that are going to allow for that to happen. Secondly, you are going to have to understand how you are the manifester of your own happiness. You know, with the nine and the ace of cups here, it equals 10. So there is this monumental moment. You're not there yet. You have the high priestess under that, bruh. Strength card. The moon. <laughs> Three of swords. Um... There is this element of being dependent on people that, so I'm interested to see what your karma card is going to be. Um, there is this element of wanting to do everything by yourself. That is home, that is in your element. You are the overseer of the hermit card, which is all about internal, uh, the internal journey, right? The taking that wishful star of hope and going and trekking off by yourself as, you know, you're trying to find yourself. You're trying to see exactly where that internal hope is going to be leading you, right? And you think that that's happiness. And it is in certain situations. It, it was for the life that you used to be living. But now that you are meant to be in this better place, now that right around the corner, there's this whole new emotional fulfillment that's going to be coming in. You have to travel in a new way with the Six of Swords. So there's going to be, you know, this profound moment, like I said, with judgment and the world, something's going to wrap up. There's a cycle that has to, you know, be put to rest in order for you to gain what you love. You know, you love tradition. You love you love um, standard. You love all of that stuff that materially looks great, looks great makes your life feel abundant, makes your life feel fulfilled. However, if you want to be that, you know, if you want to be this emperor, if you want to be the ruler over your own land in every way, shape, or form, you have to be able to um, be flexible because the emperor oversees, you know, all of the other kings, right? Um, so that is the king of wands. That's also the king of cups. That's the king of swords. In addition to the king of pentacles, you have to learn how to incorporate all of those different elements to be a successful emperor. And right now, Virgos, the ones that I'm speaking to, you have 
um, you know, pentacle energy on lock. That's your bread and butter. That's you. But now you're being called to take up this emotional energy, this cups energy, swords energy, right? Um, and it's going to be different for you. Again, um, with stopping at the three of swords, even under that, the ten of wands, you know, you're going to have to get used to taking that on. That's why there's major arcana underneath this three of pentacles. You're going to have to be a lot more intuitive. You're going to have to understand that life is not simply black and white. You know, there you have to be able to pinpoint exactly where it ebbs and flows where, you know, there's change where you again are able to manifest different things that are outside of what you've come to know. And you have to have an element of strength to be able to do that. I love also that in this deck, I'm always called to certain decks when it comes to each of these month readings. And the strength card in this deck is the number 11 when it's usually um, the number eight in the regular tarot and justice is eight in this deck versus 11. So again, you, I, I feel like maybe around the 1111 portal, there's going to be something and then, you know, the high priestess, that's um, uh, the num numeral two, right? And then we have the moon, look at that, too, with the moon in the back. You can't make this stuff up, man. You can't. The 11-11 portal is going to be extremely profound for you. And what I feel like as well, so let's break it down here. If this is a work opportunity, you're going to do fantastic. You're going to be bringing something um, very original to the table. It's almost like the opportunity is going to fall into your lap. You wouldn't have had to do much. Um, it's just going to be there for you to take you to this new level, right? To take you to the place where you've been itching to get to, you just didn't know how. And here, boom, it just shows up for you. For those of you where this is just your life, I feel again that there are people that you need to get rid of so that those who are going to support this new journey for you are able to come in. You can't continue to carry certain energy with you because it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. And you have those sensations. We all have them where it's just like it was great. It was wonderful for what I needed it to be, but it no longer is meant for my life. For those of you where this may be a love relationship, I feel like a lot of you have already had those instinctive moments where you knew that the relationship was not what you needed. It brought some type of monetary security. It may be a, a, a wonderful living situation at the time, all of that. But there was this missing element of love. There was a missing element of everything else besides that material peace because we're starting to see the rest of the elements now and if we're starting to see them in so much abundance now where was it the entire relationship where was it you know with that that friendship or those friendships where was it with that previous opportunity you are now being called like everybody actually um but for the sake of this month's reading you were specifically talking to you where now you Virgos are being called to be on this whole other level and you have to have exposure to certain things to succeed. Um, you all are actually going to be the second. The second sign where I just want to um, <laughs> dig a little bit deeper. Here. Maybe we might get exactly which group of you this is for. Um, I don't know. Maybe not even that. We're just going to dig a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I love to use new decks and have things confirmed. What else do we get? The Emperor. Again, the overseer of all kingdoms. So you have to have 
mastery of all elements. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So very much so could be a work opportunity. And we have the Knight of Swords. Again, you have to be able to shut things down. You have to be able to move away from them. You have to be able to understand, stop it. Ugh. <laughs> Even in those moments where you may be annoyed, when you may want to, you know, I guess give up on it because um, I don't know, you don't have extensive patience. You want what you want when you want it. This is what it shows up again. Strength. Just one more, please. Thank you. I got two. Justice. What was I saying? Look at this. Seven of Pentacles. You're going to have to buckle down and understand that this is what is next for you. And it's going to be difficult. Nine of Pentacles. Not, not, not Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords it is going to be difficult for you because it's not your normal. It's not your normal. But you're going to get there. So let's see why. You know, why is it this energy? Why why is why is it like this for you, Virgos? The ones that I'm talking about. Um ooh, it's so refreshing when it's not just about, you know, love. Um, okay. Galactic, Cancer had this as their main card which means that this is divinely being guided. Uh, you are being divinely guided down this new path. There is destiny about this. And very similar to Gemini, um, where, you know, there is mirroring here, right? We saw that with the strength and the justice card, like I was explaining, but look at here. I have to look underneath here. Two X's. Two X's. A one and a five. A one and a five. Trees. The sense of peace, bottom of the deck energy for me is where divine wants you to go. It's the level that divine wants you to get to. And I feel such a sense of peace with this card. And more so because this tree is allowing for the rays of sun to break in to come in. You know, chlorophyll needs, or let's just talk about photosynthesis. You know, photosynthesis requires sunlight. Leaves provide oxygen, like you're being led on this journey because you have something that you need to provide to the world. You have something that you need to provide to the world. And that is why this is happening for you. That's beautiful, Virgos. I love it. So let's see what this moon cycle is bringing to the table or what which of these moon cycles is going to be ooh, profound for you possibly what moon cycle has kicked you know um kick this off especially with the galactic card here let's stop let's stop with the virgos for november yeah, something came alive for you um, during your birthday season. And now that I think um, because Mars retrograde has eased its grip, you know, it's starting to. <laughs> Let me finish what I was saying, though. Um, 
it has started to, um, you know, go back to normal. Things are starting to feel like, again, you can start um, hitting the ground running with ideas that you that you start to have, right? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I want to show you something. Um, what do I want to say? So, because I want to be able to clearly outline. Okay. Bottom of the deck for you. I'm not surprised. There's something about Leo that is huge for you. Now, the full moon in Leo is going to come around again during Aquarius season. So not too far off. But don't let pride get in your way. Don't let those annoying, you know, um, instances that may pop up keep you from staying on this journey. Don't let... Um, those who may, you know, want to plead to still be in your life, don't let these heavy moments, you know, keep you from staying the course. That's first and foremost. The next, the main message, South Node, don't let your past hold you back. The North Node, moving into Cancer, out of Leo. So it's perhaps that during the time that uh, the North Node has been in Leo, you've gone through an extreme transformation. I highly advise that you see where Leo sits in your chart and what planets um, are being led by Leo in your chart. That's going to be huge for you. When I saw this symbol, although it is a standard for you know, representing the South Node, I immediately thought of the Leo symbol. You know, if only it had maybe another little loop here, you know, I'm sure some people would be like, they don't look the same, but intuitively that's immediately what I felt. And we've gotten the strength card for you twice. Again, there's a sense of destiny. And I can't even lie, in the cancer video when they got this, because, you know, the North Node is moving into cancer, I told them there was a sense of destiny coming in for them this month. So that's what I got for you, Virgos. I'm super excited for where this is going. You know, um, you're not there yet, which I know pains you. <laughs> I know that pains you. You're not there yet. You're not there yet. You're getting there. It's coming. It's promised to you. If you, one, you pay attention, and two, you don't let anything get in your way. You recognize where you need to drop that sword, cut things out, move away from it, recognize that there are going to be some heartache there's going to be some heartache there's going to be you know some very tough moments but you keep pushing understand at every single step of the way that you have divine backing and you'll make it you'll make it you're almost there for it goes so that's the message i got for you all the ways to get in contact with me are down below. Um, I can personally attest to feeling the need to change. I have been on YouTube for a year now, you know, um, bringing my gifts to the masses and so much can change in a year, let me tell you. And so I want you to make sure that you, I want to make sure that you're a part of the Fire family on Facebook, on Instagram, 
Um, thank you so much to everyone who has been booking readings, who has been booking healing services, who has participated in the giveaways, who has just interacted with me in any way, shape, or form. Um, it means a lot to know how many people resonate with the work that I do. And even if it was just one person, like I absolutely have found, um, you know, my connection with this work because it's been something that I've held in for so long. And to know that I, I'm actively doing it and it's because of you all. It really, really is. It really is. Um, and so I love you. I absolutely adore you. So I will see you all for the last month of 2018. Until then, mwah, be blessed. Bye.